What's up guys, welcome back to DCA. So what I'm gonna do in this video is show you where I believe that Avalanche is going to end up this cycle. So what we've done in this video is performed an in-depth analysis of the altcoin market using a machine learning model in order to determine where the whole market could end up. We'll be applying that information to Avalanche in order to determine where both the market cap and price will end up for AVAX in this cycle. So my name's Jay, and what we do on this channel is in-depth data analysis of the cryptocurrency market. We don't use hype, we don't use hopium, we only look at this market from a data perspective in order to come up with where this market's at and where it may be going. So with that said, guys, let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna do a brief overview of the methodology that we've used in this video. But if you're interested in a more in-depth look at what we've done here, you can actually click on a link in the description below for a video I've recently done on Solana which discusses this technique that we've used in much more depth. But essentially what we're doing here is using a machine learning model, which looks at the altcoin market, it looks at Bitcoin, it's looking at Ethereum, and the strength of all of these different assets, as well as the stock market, in order to determine where are we at in the market cycle and what may be expected of this market going forward. But we're honing in on the altcoin market because that's ultimately what we're interested in looking at here. This simulation model essentially takes where we're at right now and simulates forward 365 days. So what we're interested in in this cycle is looking at where is the market peak going to be at for the altcoin market. So we take the current location of the altcoin market and simulate that forward. That gives us an idea of where the total altcoin market may be able to get to in this cycle. And we'll take a look at where the model believes that could be now. Okay, so when we look at the altcoin market, especially if you're using TradingView, you'll hear most people talking about T3 or total three. And what total three is, is the top 125 altcoins in their aggregate market cap. But that tends to not be a very good metric. The reason for that is, is because of the fact that that includes stable coins, which make up a very large percentage of that total three metric. So I've created this new metric here, which is going to give you an adjusted and more accurate view of the altcoin market, excluding stable coins. Why is including stable coins not a good methodology for analyzing the crypto market? The reason is, because stable coins are in general going to be stable. So when we look at the degree of drawdown in the cryptocurrency market, if we just took the bear market, let's say, you'll get a figure of around a 73% drawdown. Okay, fine. Now, what if you exclude those stable coins? Well, you get a very different number. Now you're going to get, rather than a 73% drawdown, you're going to find that the altcoin market actually had around an 84% drawdown in the last cycle. So that plays into our analysis because rather than saying that the altcoin market is currently up around 159%, we actually find that the altcoin market has rallied around 300% from the bottom. So this difference is absolutely massive. And to get back to where we were in last cycle, we actually still from right now, from where we're sitting at right now at a market cap of around 630 billion, we still have around 50% to go. So there is still a huge amount of upside left in this market cycle. Now, just quickly thinking back to our simulation model, using a machine learning model in order to determine what are the likely possibilities for where we could end up in this cycle, we actually find that the model believes that around a $2.3 trillion market cap is where the market could end up in this cycle. And we can just ask ourselves, does that even make sense? Well, if we look back to prior cycles, let's just look at the natural growth of the altcoin market in order to determine whether that $2.3 trillion value even passes the eye test. So if we look at this prior cycle, this first cycle, we reached a peak of around $300 billion in that cycle, okay? In this next cycle, the, our most recent cycle, 2021, we actually saw that we got up to around a $940 billion market cap, okay? So 
300 billion in the first cycle, then around 940 in the second cycle. So for the model to suggest that the altcoin market could just over double from our last market cycle, I think that tends to be a very realistic outlook for the altcoin market, especially as the value of Bitcoin is set to explode in this cycle, especially as many more individuals participating in this market are becoming interested in the altcoin market. We're finding that there's much more interest in this cycle, you know, and based on everything that we know about the participants in this market and the growth of the altcoin market, there are many more, many more assets competing in the altcoin space that have real potential. I think this number of $2.3 trillion is very in line with what we may expect in this cycle. Okay, so we can use that model then to come up with an estimate of where the market cap is for AVAX. And what the model finds is that a $103 billion market cap is a baseline estimate for where AVAX will reach in this cycle. And if you recall back to last market cycle, we were actually sitting at around a $30 billion market cap. That is an estimate of around a 250% increase in relation to where we were at last cycle. And with relation to where we're at right now, that would put us at around a 400% increase in terms of market cap. What if AVAX were to outperform that total expected dominance of the total three market cap? Well, that would actually end up putting us at around a 500% increase from where we're at right now, again, in terms of market cap. We've also modeled out a bearish scenario, which would say around a $78 billion market cap. And I'll talk about this a bit more when we look at the price, which we'll do now. So with the estimated market cap, what do we have to do? We have to account for supply and remember, there has been a fairly significant increase in the supply of AVAX. So we have to roll that into our calculation. You can't come up with the price estimate from the market cap without first accounting for the change in supply. Okay, so when we take into account the change in supply that we're expecting, we can then convert those market cap values into price predictions. So the model tells us that at its base case, Remember, in last cycle, we reached to around $135. So at its base case, the model is predicting where we're sitting at right now at around 55, 56 bucks. The model actually predicts that we could reach to a price of around $260 in this market cycle. And remember, that's its base case analysis. Now, what if we had a more bearish scenario? Well, let me start by saying, you know, this isn't a review of the fundamental analysis of AVAX, but ultimately I think AVAX has so much going on right now. You know, it has such adoption. It has so much use. Ultimately, I do believe that, you know, based on everything we know about AVAX, that it is going to perform or outperform. It's, you know, that 4.5% total three market cap dominance. I, you know, I ultimately, I don't think it's going to fall short of that. I think if anything, we outperform these numbers rather than underperform them. So at its base case, you know, we're looking at, I said, 260 bucks. At a more bearish scenario, we would be looking at something at around a 250% increase from where we're at right now at around 200 bucks. It's more bullish scenario, which would be an outperform where when we say outperform, we're not talking about some, you know, unrealistic saying that uh, AVAX is going to go up to like 20% of the total three market cap. We're, we're keeping it within the frame of the data. So the data tells us that a more bearish scenario would be 200 bucks. A more bullish scenario would actually put us up at around $315 in this market cycle. Now, if we look at where that is from the prior peak, that's around 133% increase. And from where we're at right now, it's around a 470% increase. Remember, we had to account for the increase in supply and that sort of dilutes your profits somewhat in comparison to the change in market cap over that same amount of time. So that's my base level analysis for AVAX in this cycle, guys. This analysis is performed with the idea in mind that we are in a bull market. As long as the market weren't to collapse, as long as we were to continue in a positive trend, I do believe that these are very realistic numbers and figures to be looking at as a benchmark level for AVAX. Could we outperform this? Certainly. And I, you know, I think it's even, you know, not unlikely, but I think if you are interested in, lo in looking at a very realistic analysis, the baseline figure for where you expect 
AVAX could get to in this cycle. I think this range right here, this 260 bucks up to around 315 bucks is a very good estimate for where we will end up. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. If you guys like this type of content, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. You could also head over to polaritydigital.io. This is a site I run with Mark over at Upside Down Data, where we offer a wide range of risk metrics for analyzing the cryptocurrency market. We have a number of risk metrics for both Bitcoin, Ethereum, and a huge number of altcoins. We support around 50 altcoins right now, and we're adding more daily, including AVAX. So with that said, guys, until next time, as usual, see ya.